This is gonna be interesting. It's just too much. One of my favorites, but I also love this one. So freaking cute. It's stretched out and sad. It's been years. Kind of like a fun length to my dilemma. I can finally get rid of these. It has to stay right here. I think she's too different for me. Definitely keeping this one. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia and today we are continuing our series of leaving for college and I thought we would go through my entire dresser. We're gonna go through everything, try on all of my clothes and then decide which ones I'm going to get rid of and then which ones I'm going to take to college with me. If you missed it, I had a video recently of trying on everything in my closet and also extremely decluttering my room. So we are in a major declutter phase right now trying to get rid of everything I don't need so that I know exactly what to pack. This is going to be a lot because there's some clothes in here that I've probably had since like elementary school. It just means more to take to Play-Dohs and more to give away to friends. So we'll go through my drawers one by one and I'll also reorganize them just so I can get in the habit of folding them nicely and putting them where I want them. So I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure to like and subscribe. It really, really supports me and my channel. And we have a lot of college content coming up, lots of organization, health and fitness, so you're not gonna wanna miss it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so for today, this is the basket we are gonna be using to get rid of all of our clothes. This basket is from Good Pick and I'll talk more about it later, but it's really cute and I'm excited. I'm gonna bring it to college with me actually. And little story, I actually filmed this part a long time ago and somehow lost the footage. I don't know what's going on. I have a weird camera situation right now. I'm borrowing one and mine is being fixed, but somehow I lost the intro and like filming the drawers before and some footage of like trying on tank tops. So I'm actually doing this for the second time, just a little portion of this, but that means that you can't really see the before of the drawer. It's already done, which sucks because it was like overflowing. It was so bad. And I'm like, oh, I could just mess up the drawer again, but like that felt really fake. Also, it looks really nice right now, so I don't really want to mess it up. But I got it before of the pants drawer, so you'll get that. But anyways, first top to try on is this one that I'm wearing from Princess Polly. It comes in a little set with these shorts of the same texture, and I absolutely love this shirt. The color just makes me look kind of tanned, which I love. So we are going to keep this top. This cutie is also from Princess Polly. This is a little tube top, and one of my favorites because the print just kind of goes with like all denim, and I just really like the fit of it, so we're keeping this. Okay. Okay, this top is from Play-Dohs. We're just knocking out all the tank tops first, I guess. But I also love this one. She's just really cute and basic, so we're keeping her. Okay, I think we have our first giveaway. Just this little high neck white tank top. It's super fun. I like the racer back, but it's just kind of like stretched out and sad. So I think we're gonna get rid of it. This top is one that I kind of like always wanted to like on myself, but never really did. No, I think that's okay. I think we're gonna say goodbye. It's been years. The shirt is also just very like stretched out and not nice fitting. I love the neck of it though. Like look at it. Not like a square neck and a racer back, which is so fun. But it's just like not flattering. Okay, not once have I worn this shirt and yet because of the back, I'm just so tempted to keep it. It's this cute little halter top, but I just don't like it from the front, you know? This is really, really cute, but she's gone. This is another one that I like keep convincing myself to keep. Because I like that it's kind of a more modest, cute top, but I've never really liked it on myself. And I think the ruffles are a bit much, so she's gonna go. Okay, we have another Princess Polly tube top. This is giving me, like, Belle vibes. I don't know, like Beauty and the Beast. I'm definitely keeping her. She's super cute. She's new. I love her. Here's another Princess Polly tank top. This one's just a cute little black tank top. I like the high neck, and it just kind of goes with everything, honestly, so I'm gonna keep this one. So, this was my first little brandy top and she's still so cute but she's never really been my style and i tried to get rid of her last time and i couldn't so i think it's time to get rid of her i'm just now realizing exactly how many tank tops i have there's still so many more to go this one is super old super stretched out not even that old it's not like an amazing fit but i wear it all the time and it's such a cute color i feel like i wear it enough that it's like worth keeping you know we'll hold on to her for a little bit this might be one of my favorite tank tops ever another princess poly tank just the most flattering cut and everything and like such a fun color too definitely keeping this one okay i'm kind of torn on this one this one's also princess poly and i really liked it when i first got it like look at the back it's really cute i just can't tell if it's my style but See my dilemma? I don't know. He's just gonna go in the maybe pile, I think. Okay, so I was looking at this thinking, this is a definite giveaway, obviously. And now I'm wearing it and I'm like, oh. okay, it's kind of cute. Like the neck, 
and then like tie up back. There's another halter top, but I never wear it. But like I kind of could. Mm, maybe pile? Okay, this one too. I thought for sure I'd be able to give it away. I'm like, oh, this used to be my style. It's definitely not anymore. But I feel like I could kind of bring it back. I'm getting rid of a few other white tops, so I think I will keep this one. I just kind of always liked it on myself. It's got the cute little ruffly edges. It's a nice fit, so I'll take it. I mean... She's not bad. This is another one I thought would be a for sure giveaway because I never wear it. I kind of like it. It's kind of like a cute length. Okay, but if I keep it, I have to actually start wearing it. I think I've been like trying to convince myself to like this shirt, but I still never wear it. I thought it was just like the cutest little cut ever, but every time I wear it, I'm just like scared. And I just don't think it's very flattering on me. It is billabong, which I'm sad about, but I think I have to get rid of it. Okay, if I'm being totally honest, this is like a nicer, newer version of that other yellow shirt, but it's also like a lot brighter, so less stuff goes with it. And it's got a built-in bra, which I kind of like. It's got like padding, but you can see through that. I'm torn. That's why I kept both. I want to keep the other one for the color, but it's not as nice. It's kind of stretched out, and I don't think it'll last as long. I know this is like the opposite of the point in the video, but I think I am going to keep this until the other one like dies. My hair is getting so messed up. This one is a definite keeper. She's from Princess Polly. My only problem, I didn't actually tie the back. I should have. I don't have a lot of places to wear it, but it's so cute. So for now, she's just kind of a beach top. I put her over bikinis and stuff. Oh my gosh, this top. I still don't know what I was thinking. It has the tags on it. I think I got it like months ago. It was $4. That's why I got it. And it could be like so cute. I think I was thinking like music festival kind of vibes, but like there's just so much. Maybe I could cut some of it off. Also, I don't know how to do up the back without it being like so much because then it's like cuter in the front i don't know i think she's too different for me this is kind of sad but this is a princess polly top i got that just kind of never fit right so yeah we're getting rid of her the only way this could work is if i could turn it into a halter and like put some sort of padding in it bring it together a little bit more but it's not worth it just got this top from princess polly cute little cropped white t-shirt definitely keeping her she goes with everything okay yeah i'll show you my elevated t-shirts my elevated faith t-shirts but they're not going anywhere. I think this was my first one, actually. Cute. I love just getting absolutely swallowed by my t-shirts. And even more so with this one. This one's a Princess Polly one, and it's kind of perfect for the beach, honestly. Old soccer training shirt. She can go. This one, I kind of want to keep, just because it's a long sleeve, and I think it'd be cute for the gym. I don't know, I kind of like her. Okay, so I keep forgetting about this shirt. It's from Love Outreach Christian Club. Oops. And I never wear it, but I think now that I remember it, I'll wear it because I used to like all the time. Okay, maybe it's just because we're at like the bottom of my drawer now. I completely forgot about this shirt too, but like she's actually really cute. What is my addiction to yellow shirts? But like, look, I got it in Hawaii too. I think I'm going to keep it. This was part of a graduation gift from someone, which honestly, I just love that I got it. <laughs> in my bio, it says make heaven crowded. So I'm definitely keeping this one. Basic black crop tee goes with everything. Keeping. Old reddish fall colored tee. Don't like the fit. Not keeping. I have literally never liked this t-shirt on myself, but I've just kept it because like it's a nice little basic shirt and I work for work, but now I don't work at that restaurant. I can say goodbye. Same thing with this black t-shirt, except I used to really, really like it on myself. Now it's pretty stretched out, but it's a John Galt shirt. So I like the brand. It's kind of beachy and cute, but I also think I'm fine with just one black crop t-shirt. Although this isn't cropped. Okay, I got this from Play-Doh's as part of a set. It has matching shorts that you'll probably see later. But like with the shorts, it's just too much. I don't know. We might keep her to see how confident I feel in the gym. This one is not as bright and I feel like it's just like the tiniest bit more flattering. So I think we're going to keep this one for sure. Okay, we made it. Here is our keep pile, the maybe pile, which will depend on the shorts I try on. And then our giveaways kind of take up a good amount of that basket, honestly. Also, I'm thinking I'm gonna fold them all like the Marie Kondo style, whatever it is, so you can see all my shirts. We'll see if it works. better and it's actually with way more clothes too because that includes the laundry that i took out of the basket this is our bottoms drawer this is not even everything but yeah there's a lot going on here okay 
It's time to try on some bottoms. These shorts that I'm wearing right now are the Tropicana shorts for Princess Polly. I love them. I'm absolutely keeping these. These shorts are also from Princess Polly. I think they're the feels like summer shorts. They just kind of fit wonky. Like they've always been really baggy in the front, in the back. So they're like big basically, but they're also really short. So I think I'm gonna get rid of them. Okay, I'm torn between like laughing and crying right now. These shorts, look at that. <laughs> I got these and another pair. I'm nervous for the other pair from Play-Dohs when like I was probably at like my smallest and I could not even button these up all the way. So like bright side growing, <laughs> but you know, kind of sad. <laughs> Can't remember the last time I wore these shorts, but I'm gonna keep them probably because they fit and you know, they work. Honestly, these shorts are kind of cute. They're kind of like a paper bag at the top and they got a little tie. I had like a love-hate relationship with them because I've kind of gone in and out and fitting them, but we'll keep them for a second. Okay, so these shorts are part of a Princess Polly set with that other top in the same material and they're like the comfiest shorts ever, but I'll be honest, they're like very weird fit. The front could kind of also be the back. It's just very baggy. When I have my hands in my pockets, it's fine though. I might just keep them for comfort. I freaking love these shorts. These are from My Protein. I put them on and I was like amazed. I've never felt so flattered by a pair of shorts. Definitely keeping these. Okay, so I think this is how these shorts are supposed to fit, but I got them in my little fitness influencer era. So I think I pulled them up like so extremely to about here. When they're at the perfect height, like they're not bad. That's the thing is it has to stay right here. Now that I'm wearing it with this shirt though, I kind of like it. Oh, we'll keep them for a second. I feel like you just need a pair of Nike Pro spandex. No, they're not the cutest or most flattering spandex in the land, but they're kind of basic so they work. Sorry, I wear these like every day. We're not getting rid of these. I keep trying to convince myself that the skirt is cute because from the side I kind of like it honestly but from the front it's like why is this waistband so long? She's gone. Okay these are the other shorts. They're not quite as bad as I thought actually. They're kind of like nice fitting. They feel good. They've always been like it's the same thing. Why are they so loose in the front? And they're like not flattering from the side but I think they're kind of nice and I'm not keeping any other jean shorts really. So I think I might hold on to these because they're kind of cute. These will forever be my favorite leggings. I love the color. I love the fit. I go with a lot because they're like close to the color of jeans. So I'm keeping these. These are my little airy flared leggings. I love them. They're comfy. They're cute. They go with everything. These are a definite keeper. Um, so actually these tie for my favorite pair of leggings with those blue ones. I love these. I don't even know what brand they are. The other ones are Old Navy, but I'm a fan. Back to like owning the basics. I think everybody needs like a good pair of sweatpants. I don't want to like say you need Nike, but Nike sweatpants are really cute. Even though these are so stretched out, the cuff doesn't even like fit right. But they're so extremely comfy and they're not a bad fit. Okay, these are my favorite jeans ever. They're from PacSun, but I got them from Play-Dohs. So I think they were like less than $10, which is a score because they were my size. Sorry, everything is so tight right now because I just had dinner. But normally it's like just the perfect fit. They feel like they're hugging my waist without being too tight. And they're kind of like a fun length if you can't see. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, these jeans are like kind of cute still. I just don't do ripped jeans really anymore. But like when I look in the mirror, I don't necessarily like them. So I think we're gonna get rid of them. Also, that's probably not great. These on the other hand, I am in love with. These are Princess Pop. Poly, very nice and high-waisted. They're the asymmetrical kind of fit. Normally they don't fit around the waist, but I'm so extremely like my food baby right now. We're not going to talk about it, but normally they fit a little bit baggier, which is kind of fun. It's kind of different. And these are just straight up skinny jeans, even though they're cropped, which is kind of cute. And like they don't fit horrible, but I'm just, I'm never going to wear them. I think they've been buried in the bottom of my drawer for so long. A few honorable mentions. Found these a while ago, stuck them in a bin to get rid of them because I haven't worn them in a long time. I did love them when I first had them though. I think everybody that played soccer had these at some point. We also have the black skinny jeans. Wore these for work. Don't work there anymore. Don't need them. Also have these black leggings which are so stretched out and like the seams are like falling apart. The labels like not even on there anymore. So... Okay, I went digging in the drawer that I kind of use for like, I think I'm gonna give this away or I'm just gonna wear it to the beach or whatever. I don't know why I got these shorts. From the front, it's like, okay, they're cute. This is kind of awkward, but they're PacSun. And from the back, I'm gonna pull this down because it completely, <laughs> 
they're definitely too short so these are gonna go i also found these shorts in there i think i put them there because they're like pretty big now um but i'm thinking i might be able to shrink them i'm thinking that's the only issue here so i'll try shrinking them and then we'll see okay we made it through the shorts and all the bottoms i'm just wearing these because they're comfy so i'm just gonna put everything back and then we'll move on to pajamas The color scheme of all my bottoms is actually hilarious though. <laughs> I think I can do a better job of that. I'll probably fix that before we're done, but it already fits so much better. Look. And there's still room in the back. Honestly, our giveaway pile is kind of building up. This is only two drawers, so not too bad. Probably noticing a lot of, dude, can you shut up? Okay, before we get further into this video, I just wanted to show you guys the basket I am using. She is absolutely gorgeous. This is the white basket from Good Pick. As you can see, I'm using it to hold all my giveaways right now, which we are going to add to. This is the basket I'm also going to bring to college. I thought it would just make the cutest little laundry basket, or I could stuff some blankets in there during the summer when it's a little bit warmer and I don't need them. But if you look up close, the material is like super thick and nice high quality. The handles are really strong. I can put my massage gun. Actually, it's not mine. It's my dad's. My computer, some shoes. As I'm literally just grabbing everything I see. Books. Don't ask me why, but it's all heavy stuff. I'm just trying to show you. Pretty strong. Good Big has a variety of baskets on their website, and they're very focused on using high quality materials and textures. Their whole Amazon is just so aesthetic. Everything is so minimalist and nicely designed. Here is Good Pick's website. As you can see, lots of minimalist theme kind of colors, very neutral colors. They have a bunch of blog posts and Instagram posts that are just also that same aesthetic. Then here's some more of their products and baskets. And here is the basket I wanted to show you guys, the white woven laundry basket. And it holds so much. I'm in love with it. This basket kind of defines my room decor style because it's very much boho minimalist and as a college student trying to decorate my apartment, I love functional pieces like this that still look really cute. They match the overall theme of the room and also provide a lot of storage and that's why I wanted to show you this basket by Good Pick for any college students out there that really just need a good way to store their stuff. Good Pick is not only super high quality and very cute but also very affordable which we love that. They ship super fast and they're on Amazon which makes them really accessible. I highly recommend checking out their baskets and seeing if any of them suit your needs. And in my last video, I showed how they work in a variety of rooms. The other basket I got worked so well in our living room, our family room, the laundry room, even the bathroom. I love it in my room. I still use it. They also have a variety of sizes. I think if you got this in like a smaller basket, it would be the cutest thing to hold like all your swimsuits or something, maybe hats, just very aesthetic. So thank you so much to Good Pick for sponsoring this video. Really appreciate it and I love these baskets. Let's get back into the video. All right, time for pajamas. It's way too warm for these right now, but these sweatpants are super, super comfortable. I feel like they fit a little funny. It's like they're supposed to be low rise, but then they're way too long. So I just kind of decided they're pajama pants now, but I think they're perfect for that. So I'm gonna keep these ones. So I'm kind of in between about these ones. These are Princess Polly. This was from actually my first like sponsored haul with them. So it's kind of cute. And honestly, I kind of like the like straight track leg sort of thing, which I didn't really expect for myself. And they're really comfy, so I guess I have my answer. <laughs> okay, so these ones are like actual pajama pants. My cousins and I have matching ones, but I really don't ever wear pajama pants. Like, those two are sweatpants, and I never even wear those. So I think I'm gonna get rid of these, because I just don't wear them. They are cute, though. Oh my gosh, I go through this every time. These little polar bear pants were given to me from a secret Santa. They're so freaking cute. But like I said, I just don't wear pajama pants. But I really like the look of them, honestly. I mean, they don't take a lot of space. Ugh. Putting them in the maybe. I have literally no reason for wanting to keep these. I never wear them. I, like, I'm a Giants fan, yeah. But I'm not, like, a baseball person. But, like, they're kind of cute. But they also, like, don't fit. Like, if I... They're <laughs> huge. I'm just gonna get rid of them. We have another little set. I kind of love this thing, honestly, but I really never wear it. It's very much like my vibe. Shorts are a bit short, but they're really comfy. I really don't think I'd ever wear it, but I might just keep the shorts for fun. Wait, let's see. Yeah, they're pretty short, but I think we're gonna keep the shorts. Keeping with the theme of comfy little short shorts. <laughs> These are actually so freaking cute. They got little tassels on there. It was a hand-me-down for my friend. And like, 
They're like such a fun pattern and fit. Cute for a little girls night. I don't know. I think we might keep these for fun. I'm doing so bad, you guys. Can't remember how I used to wear these. I like folded over the waistband. But these are so scratchy. And I think I have two other pairs of like pajama short sort of things now and another one coming. So I think we can get rid of these safely. I wear these shorts way more than I want to. Part of me wants to get rid of them just so I just stop wearing them. But also I think I wear them so much that I miss them because I don't really like them on me anymore. But they're super comfy. I have those other white shorts now. I think that's fine. I don't really need these. I forgot to try this on. This is a little concert t-shirt from an Elevated Faith concert, and I'm keeping this because my dad bought it for me. Alright, time to put everything back in the drawer that we're keeping, which honestly, I think we got rid of like half of it, which is not bad. Okay, it is time to try on some accessories, hats, scarves, gloves, random stuff in here. And it's gonna be mostly based on how often or how little I wear it. First thing, can you see me at all? I hope that helped. Sorry, I'm using a different camera and it doesn't have the... Um, this is pretty cute. I think I'm gonna keep this. I wear this a lot. This, however, this is not really me. I feel too, like, thuggish. I liked it for a while though. Love this one. This is like the only hat I really wear. It's from Maui. Maui Wave Riders Surf. Definitely check it out if you're ever in Maui. But yeah, they have the cutest hats. And I actually wear this one. Should probably pull this towards us. So this hat was from Princess Polly. Super excited about it when I ordered it. And as you can see, it's very shallow. Comes down to about my ear, makes it stick out. It's such a cute design. Maybe I just have like not the right head shape for it. And I can make it work like this. It's just kind of uncomfortable. So I think we're gonna give it to somebody else. No, we're gonna do bucket hats later, actually. Here's another Maui Wave Riders hat in white. So that's the newer design. This is from when we went a long time ago. And I think I just kind of kept it as a backup. I don't know. I <laughs> seems stupid to keep both, but I might just have to. I'll see if anyone in my family wants it first. You gotta keep this. This is my dad's hockey team, the Puck Hogs. And my dad's friend made these hats. They're sick, so I gotta keep it. <laughs> I think I finally feel prepared. Dude. Go away! I swear, and I can't tell them to be quiet, I just need to wait. But no, I can finally get rid of these because I went on like two winter sort of trips and never wore it and like didn't take pictures in them or anything. So it's time to get rid of them. Okay, bucket hats are so hard because they look so cute on some people. I'm like, oh, I should just keep them and take cute pictures in them. But then I never wear them. This is from Urban and it's cute cherries. I don't think I've ever worn it. And it makes me really sad to say, but I think I'm going to get rid of it. This one is from the dollar store. It's corduroy though. And it's like... It's so cute! Look at it! I got it thinking, oh, it matches jeans, it'll match like everything, and then I never wore it. I actually don't like this one on my head very much. I think we might get rid of this. I think we can safely keep this one though. This one goes with really everything. I have worn it a couple times. Even though I'm not a total bucket hat girly, I think we're gonna keep this. I'm gonna speed through these real quick. I don't really want to put them on, but scarf that I don't really wear. Running gloves that we're gonna keep. Black and white undershirt long sleeves that we're gonna keep. We're just gonna pick some fuzzy socks out and go through them. I don't think you guys care so much about socks. We're gonna keep these, keep these, get rid of these, um, get rid of these, get rid of these, keep these, now get rid of these. Get little gloves, get rid of them. Long underwear, just the bottoms, I don't know where the top is. I think these are like kids anyways, get rid of these. Norquist gloves, don't even know why I still have them, get rid of them. I swear there's other fuzzy socks in here. And then keep these. They're going in circles right by our house. Can you guys hear that? Yeah. We'll get rid of those and we'll actually keep these. Beautiful. Okay, she looks so much cuter now. Look at that. And look at this giveaway pile now. It is like to the top. Just want you guys to know that I think every noise that could possibly be made outside has been made. We got planes, cars, motorcycles, ATVs, birds, like, <laughs> come on. But last drawer. This is gonna be interesting. I think I won't try all the t-shirts on. I pretty much know how they all fit. I'll just hold them up and then I'll try on the swimsuits at the end. Got big time shirt. I love you, but you're going away. Thrive t-shirt, Thrive t-shirt, super soft, super comfy, keep. I have had this shirt for so many years, I don't even know. This is from a Holland concert. 
Look how faded it is. Like, you just want to keep it for fun. Put it in the maybe and see what else we keep. This was a hand-me-down from probably like five years ago. I think I wore it to death. Comfiest oversized t-shirt that's been retired to this drawer. Keep. Breakaway shirt. It's a cute color, honestly. May is Disneyland. Honestly, we'll put this in the maybe. We'll see. Because we do need some t-shirts just for random things. We're keeping this! This is from summer camp. It got all the signatures in the back. Can we all put our names on it? It's too cute. We have another practice jersey. Ooh, this Elmo cross country long sleeve. We might just keep that. Long sleeve is fun. Oh, there's those uh, long underwear top. It's going away. I kept this thinking I would wear it over top of stuff. Never really did. Because I like wear button ups over them now. This is so see through that like when it gets wet, it's like it's doing nothing. Even though it is airy. So maybe Play Dohs will take it. Mm -hmm. And. I cut this Newport Beach tank top. Why is it actually really cute? We might keep that one for no reason. And another goal. Oh, my senior t-shirt. I got it for standing up to an event that I actually wasn't able to go to. That was a bummer. And then this is the cutest thing. I think I like kept it to be a swimsuit cover-up. I still don't know exactly what to wear it over because it's so see-through. I think it's free people. Yeah, it is. Comment down below. How do I wear this? Put it in the maybe for now. Wow. That's full. So is this though, our swimsuits. Oh gosh. Okay, so I just got my sports bra on for this. I just really like these bottoms. I like how they're like more modest. Maybe I need to go get a yellow top. I think we'll keep them. Okay, I don't know if you guys know Brinley Joyner or Mary Margaret Bound, something like that. They launched a company called Honey Swim. I'm in love with it. I really need to go get myself some pieces. I just need to work out the courage to like splurge. <laughs> but this is so similar. I got this from PacSun like on clearance. It's just such a nice material and like more coverage in the back. It's kind of got like that V in the front and the back. I think Honey Swim has like a different neckline but just very similar overall. So I'm in love with this swimsuit. And I'll have more like it when I actually go shop at Honey. I kind of went into this like expecting to hate this suit. So I think it might be a kid's. It definitely doesn't fit right. Like it's too short. And since it's short, it kind of like pulls on that. So it's not actually like tight. It's just kind of sticking out. Same with the sides here. So it's just really not flattering, but it's really cute. And I like it better than my other one piece that I'll show you in a sec. I don't know. I think we'll keep it like in case of emergency sort of thing. Okay, I got this from Target probably two years. No, it was two years ago. I got it specifically for summer camp. And I kid you not, there were like 10 other girls with this exact suit on. And I'm not gonna lie, it's like better than I remember it. But I never liked this and how like not flattering that is. And I just don't like the color or like the pattern so basically don't like the fit don't like the color don't like the pattern so i think it has to go okay this was clearance at airy love the color don't like the style of the bottoms at all like it's just too much but i like the style of the top a lot but i think we'll keep this because it is a little more modest and that's always nice to have okay look at this suit and then look how well it matches this shirt i've never liked this because it's supposed to be low rise you see i'm just not a low rise girl i don't love the top if i'm being honest so i think we can get rid of this shirt and this suit i've also had this for probably like three years i think it's time to go this is my favorite little basic swimsuit yeah wear it all the time i used to wear this top like all the time i don't really wear it anymore the back I don't know, the more that I look at it, the more I want to keep it. Okay, so I don't have actual bottoms for this top. That's why I've never worn it, and the tag is still on it. I got it for $4 at Aeropostal. And I just, I don't know, I've kind of always gone with the cute jean shorts. And now they're going to be like the Nail the Beach. I think I'll actually wear it. So we'll keep this a little longer. Okay, and lastly, this is my favorite swimsuit ever. Not only is it this really nice, like, scrunchy material, same as that other one. Actually, it's different, but it's also just this really pretty color, and it matches this gorgeous little sarong, also from Princess Polly. Definitely keeping this one. Okay, now we're good to put everything back. Okay, that pretty much wraps it up. Here is our final basket of everything. Part of me wants to dump it out and see, but I already know it's in here, so. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope this inspired you. And if you're in the same boat as me packing for college, let me know in the comments. And good luck to everyone that is. I will probably need to go through my clothes again somewhat soon. So let me know if you'd be interested in one of those videos again too. And for now, I'll see you later. Remember, Jesus loves you so much. And I love you too. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.